there's 130 episodes of Soul and some of the biggest names of the era, but some of them, they weren't that big when they started. Like Earth, Wind and Fire was on there when no one knew who they were. Um, you had Pay LaBelle when she was Pay LaBelle in the Blue Bells. Um, you know, you right? also had Maya Angelou. You had Toni Morrison. These are folks that, you know, back then they were not the icons and the titans that we think of them as today. Um, so That's always right. at the and forefront. That was- only because they didn't have the visibility, you know, and I think that's what's when you look back at the show and you see how amazing it was to to have a platform where you could be seen. There was a time back before, you know, before the times as we know it, when people were, it was such a rare opportunity to see a black person on TV mm-hmm. that people would yell, black on TV, black That's on right. TV. And My everyone would come does. running. <laughs> yes. Come see, My come look, still come gets look, excited. come look. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and maybe you didn't even have a TV, so you had to go to your neighbor's house. Or maybe you didn't have a color TV, so you had to go right. to your neighbor's house. You know, there are yeah. all these levels of what we had and what we didn't have, you know, on the heels of the civil rights movement. That was a rough time. We yeah. were trying to, you know, redefine ourselves and reimagine ourselves on this American landscape that really wasn't checking for us. And so mm-hmm. this emergence of black power, black love, black strength, black sister and brotherhood, this is what, this is the black power movement era, you know? We were trying to find a way to love ourselves again and not have to see ourselves defined by others and so to see yourself on tv represented like your aunties and your and your favorite music you know people think that our cultural history started with soul train but the visibility for soul train was made possible by soul because soul happened first Mm -hmm. there had to be someone had to come first and it was on facebook yeah that's that's such a great point that you make because there are so many people that worship Soul Train um, and without knowing about, you know, um, Soul. And so that's why this is also a very important doc because it, it yes. you know, it gives us some real, um, it just gives us uh, the idea of legacy that, you know, this wasn't, you know, it didn't just begin with Soul Train. It happened before that's and it right. happened, like you said, on the heels of, of the civil rights movement. It's 1968. So that's like um, Dr. King has been assassinated. Malcolm X yes, at this point. Five yeah. Months. Yes. You know, Malcolm Edgar and, and it was just a terrible, terrible time. And so you have Malcolm X assassinated, Martin Luther King, Medgar, the three M's. And it's just, this is a ruthless time in America, a tumultuous time in America, and it's really important to recognize how much more revolutionary it was to have black mm-hmm. people on television being fabulous, being excellent, and all kinds of people, famous people, people from the community. He was saying, this is who we are, yes. and this is not to be seen through the white lens or the white gaze. This is us defining ourselves and we're not here to entertain you actually we just want to share in the black experience and that really was what set the show apart and again you know shout out to Don Cornelius may he rest in peace and and to the family it's just important as you said to recognize that we are all standing on the shoulders of giants Mm -hmm. and that yes Soul Mm -hmm. Train is came into view on television, but we have to remember who laid the groundwork first. And, or, you know, we have to understand how far we have come and to celebrate that legacy. 